It is Friday night and I put off doing this because I just finished a book like a couple minutes ago and I wanted to be able to include it in this month's book wrap up. So I'm just going to tell you about the books that I've been reading in May and I read quite a bit this month um, but two of them are, I'll, I'll talk about them first, but they're the ones that I finished this month that I was reading last month. Um, also, I don't have all of the ones that I read this month because I borrowed them from people or I didn't end up keeping them. So just so you know, I won't be able to actually physically show you all of them, but I'm excited to talk to you about them because there's some really good ones. So, first of all, I finished All the Light We Cannot See, which if you watched last month's wrap up, I wasn't super into it, but by the end, I loved it. It was really good. It's really well written. It's it's a really beautiful book, very poetic. Um, just a really good like historical fiction, and yeah, by the end, really loved it. So if you're into historical fiction, Christopher. <laughs> My husband's on here. Thank you for being excited about my book reviews. You're a really nice and supportive husband. <laughs> um, so yeah, anyway, this one was good. And then I also finished the book Vulnerable, Rethinking Human Trafficking. And I went on and on about this one in last month's book review. I still think that at some point I will do probably a full review on this book because there's so much to it and I want to talk more about human trafficking and I did a little poll a couple weeks ago and quite a few of you said that you were interested in that so I'm saving this to go over in a different time but if you are interested in human trafficking and just even learning more about what it is, how you can play a part, like honestly if you just want to know how to care for your community better and love your neighbor better. This is a book for everybody and I highly, I, I can't recommend it enough. It's so good. And I do want to say if you are interested in reading some of these books, I have added my favorite ones to my Amazon storefront. So you can go click the link in my bio if you want to see those. Also, I am on Goodreads, which is an app that I highly recommend if you are a reader or if you want to get into reading because you can go and look up books and read reviews and ratings and then you can add them to like a want to read list. And then you can also set a reading goal and then mark off books after you've read them and it like adds them up for you so you can see your progress towards your goal, which I really love. And actually I ended up changing my goal this month because <laughs> I've been reading a lot. My original goal was to read 30 books this year and after tonight I have read 26. So I went ahead and because of Christopher's encouragement decided to change it to 52. I'm gonna see if I can read a book for every week this year. I don't know if I can do it, but I've been reading a lot. So I'm more than halfway there. We'll see how it goes, but anyway. Add me on Goodreads if you're interested in reading. We can see what each other are reading and yeah, it's a lot of fun. So I highly recommend that. Next, this one is a little different, but I read the Billie Eilish book and I've recently become obsessed with Billie Eilish. I think that she and her brother Phineas are brilliant and I love their music and I think that their story is just really interesting. They both have synesthesia, which is like I don't even know how to describe it well. It's kind of like an extra awareness of sound. I don't know how to explain it. It's like basically people who have synesthesia, when they hear sound, they also feel things and see colors and like, it's just an extra sensual experience, I guess, when they hear sound. So anyway, I've just been really interested by all that. And when I read the book, it's like a photo book, but I also heard the audio book. Like I listened to the audio commentary on Audible, which was really fun because they tell more about their story and how, what it's been like for them. And they talk about the photos that are in the book. So I thought that was really cool. Um, and then I read this book, The Silent Land. I got this at Half Price Books in the clearance section a couple months ago, and I just read the back and I was like, that's interesting. It's about this couple that is in somewhere in Europe. They're like skiing on a trip and there's an avalanche. And I don't wanna give too many spoilers, but honestly, I would not recommend this book. So I don't really feel bad for giving it away because I kinda wanna save you some time by just saying it's probably not worth your time to read it. It was okay. It's just kind of weird. Like after the avalanche, they wake up and they're, they get out of the, the, like they were hit by the avalanche, they get out. Turns out they're like the only people there. But at the end, it's kind of like a dream inside a dream inside of dream kind of book. It was just a little weird for me. And by the end, it just wasn't, that great like I just wasn't impressed 
it's kind of strange had some language which like I'm not offended by but for, to me it didn't add anything to the book it just wasn't that great for me so wouldn't necessarily re recommend it it was different but you know whatever <laughs> it was a quick read then I read a cute little book called Love and Gelato I don't have it because I borrowed it from a friend but it was just a really sweet like uh, I guess like young adult fiction kind of book it was a little bit like what's the word teeny bopper maybe fiction like it was really cute and sweet I read it in two days and I really liked it and so the one I just finished tonight like a couple minutes before I started this is love and luck it's the sequel to that one and I read it again in like two days and it's it was really good I liked this one even better than the first one because um, this is a sequel and then there's a third one called love and olives I think so the first one is about this girl who goes to Italy, which is why it's called Love and Gelato. And then this one is about a girl who goes to Ireland. And then the next one I believe is Greece, but it's just like their little, the first one's a love story. This one's like more of an adventure and like about her relationship with her brother and family and stuff like that. And so I really liked it. It was really cute. I would recommend it if you just want like a little fun, sweet little fiction. <laughs> and then, wow this book right here one of my followers sent me her copy so i could read this Shayna, thank you so much this honestly may be the best book i've ever read it's called the ruthless elimination of hurry by john mark comer as soon as i started reading this book like a chapter in i immediately added all of his books to my want to read list because i love his writing style it's like i don't know if you can kind of tell like just the way he types it's kind of types the way he writes it's just spaced out really well like almost like a caption I guess I don't know but it's just a really really good book about so much really it's about how technology and our current lifestyle and culture and things have made us hurry so much in our lives and how hurrying actually takes away so much I could go on and on about it but basically it's talking about how getting back to rest and Sabbath and simplicity in our lives is so good for our minds, but also for our bodies, our spirits, our souls, like holistically, it is life changing when we can get to a place of rest and operate from that place. And I've been learning a lot about that this year. So this couldn't have been a more perfect and timely book for me, but I feel like for everybody, it's just so, so good. One thing actually that he mentioned in here that blew my mind is how when Johann Gutenberg invented the printing press like a long time ago, it was revolutionary, right? And everybody was talking about how, oh my gosh, with all this machinery and these inventions changing the world, like in the future, people are not gonna have to work at all. They're gonna have such short work weeks. They're gonna work so few hours. But really what happened was we have so much technology, we have access to so many resources and things to make our lives easier and quicker, but we are busier than ever, we're working more than ever, we're more exhausted than ever, and hardly anybody takes time to rest. That's like, like people don't even use all of their vacation days. It's crazy, right? So in this book, he just breaks this all down and how we can really get back to just living from a place of rest and operating from a place of rest like Jesus did. So I just cannot recommend this book enough. I'm so like, I, I have to get a copy of this for myself so I can read it again and like underline all the things because this is one of those books where every single chapter I was like, I need to take a picture of that page and like come back to that and like write it on my wall so I can see that quote over and over and over again and just let it sink in because it really was life changing for me and just really cool. Like it was really challenging, but the way he writes is so encouraging so I, I can't recommend it enough i would highly highly recommend this one that is all i read this month again if you are interested in checking out the ones that i really liked you can go to my amazon storefront i probably won't update it with all of the books because like i said i've read a lot this year and i am going to continue reading a lot probably so i'll just keep doing these updates and you can always go back through and see the ones that i've already done to see what i've been reading and then maybe at the end of the year i'll do like a huge total recap of like my favorites or least favorites i don't know you guys can let me know what you think and what you would want to see but as always please leave a comment let me know what you are reading right now let me know what you're loving please leave suggestions for books i should read add me on goodreads so we can watch each other like see what books we're reading and take suggestions from each other always looking for some good ones i am actually really excited another one of my followers sent me a book that I've been wanting to read for a really long time. So I'm going to start probably tomorrow. 
um, To Hell with the Hustle by Jefferson Bethke. So I cannot wait for that one. And I don't know what fiction I'm gonna read next. That's always the struggle for me. So if you have ideas, please let me know and I'll keep you posted. And I will see you next month for the June wrap up. Can you believe we're like halfway through the year? That is crazy. But anyway, it's been a lot of fun. I have really loved reading for me. It's done so much for my mind and my anxiety and helping me rest and unwind at night instead of scrolling. I think I've mentioned this on every single one, but really truly, Reading has been such a fun thing for me this year, so I hope that you can find something that you love to read, whether it's for entertainment or growth, whatever it may be. It's just so fun. And anyway, I think that's pretty much it. So I hope you have an excellent weekend and I will see you soon.